Hey everybody, welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another By Request Song tutorial. Today, I'm super excited. I'm joined by a very talented young artist named Josie Tolson. Hey Josie. Hey Rob. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, how are you doing today? Super excited. Um, so uh, for those of you who don't know Josie, I saw her performing in Ocean City at Grassroots Music Store. She has an amazing voice, great stage presence. So I thought I definitely need to get her in here and uh, do a couple of songs for you. Before we get started, maybe you can tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Yeah, my name is Josie Tolson. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Philadelphia and I'm currently just working on my first EP um, and just focusing on getting better and learning as much as I can. Awesome. Yeah, the, the whole thing with starting a music career, especially when you're young, is just being consistent, getting out there, getting yourself in front of people and learning to be comfortable performing. Uh, so today we're going to be recording a couple of tunes, uh, Jolene and also uh, Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. So we'll do a demonstration and then from there I'm going to break it down for you step by step. You ready to get started? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started with our intro section. Now we're going to be playing as if we're in the key of A minor, but we have a capo here on the fourth fret which puts us in the key of C sharp minor. We're in standard tuning, the intro section and main riff is going to look and sound like this, first at full speed. A one, two, three, four, and... slow and that riff just keeps looping four times in total before jumping into the first chorus okay so we need to break that up into three sections to learn it more easily section one section two section three Okay, so that first section, we have an A sus chord. That's second fret of the D string, second fret of the G string. I'm playing A, G, D, B, and back to the A string. 
Now I'm using basic Travis picking technique here. My thumb controlling the bass notes, my index, middle, maybe my ring finger controlling the high strings. Okay, so there I'm playing thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb. A, G, D, B, A. And it has a very specific rhythm. So one, two, three, four, and. All right, now the second part. All right, so I have my A minor chord shape configured. I'm gonna do a hammer on on the D string and the B string. All right, so that's second fret D string, first fret of the B string, but I'm gonna keep the entire A minor form before playing A, B, D. All right, that's second section. Put it together with section one. All right, then the final section. Once again, I'm using that entire A minor shape, but I'm just gonna be pulling off on the B string as I strike the bass note before playing D and G. All right, that last part. Put it together with parts one and two. And we have the full intro slash main riff, which is going to keep repeating throughout the song. Let's see if we can loop it a few times at a medium tempo. One, two, three, four, and... Just like that, you have the intro down, you're ready to move into chorus number one. Okay, very good everybody. You have that intro section down, now we're jumping into the chorus section. It's around this time in the original track that a second guitar comes in. One guitar is panned far right and the other one far left. Today, we're just focusing on what Chip Young plays on the far right channel, uh, that's the main guitar line. So in the chorus, he plays something like this. One, two, three, four, and... is the first half of the first chorus. So I'm calling that chorus 1A. The second half is going to be basically the same thing with a slight variation. Okay, so we're starting off just taking an A minor chord. We're going to play A, D, hammer onto the B string as we pluck the G string along with it. Then we're just gonna play the inside strings, D and G. All right, so that's what you have for A minor. Next, we're going to a C major chord where we're gonna play. All right, I played a few different variations of this in my demonstration, but the basic approach is A, double pluck, then D, E, D, G. All right, so the C major chord one more time. All right, so it's a little unconventional. All right, you put A minor and C together and it should sound like this, your first measure of the chorus. All right, next we're going to a G major chord, but all we're gonna need is the third fret of the low E string. Switching to two, four time. All right, so that was the bass, D and B, then this pattern, kind of crisscrossing, E, G, D, B. You put those two measures together and we have line number one of our chorus. All right, now moving on to the second line, we're going to repeat our main riff from the intro. Before going back to the G chord, but this time we're gonna have our pinky on the third fret of the B string and play. Kind of doing this rolling thing on the A string. So bass, I'm gonna do D and B string together, but sometimes I like to just use my middle finger and paintbrush up the strings like this. 
All right, then with my thumb, I'm gonna pluck the A string as I hammer uh, the first fret up to the second fret. Then G and D before hitting those high strings again. So. You're just gonna repeat that twice. All right, you add it into context and we have lines one and two. Then we're back to the main riff, twice through. All right, now the second half of the chorus, chorus 1B, is going to be basically the same thing. We're starting off. Back to the G chord. Then the main riff. chord with that roll in on the A string. But now we have an optional variation to the main riff. Okay, so it repeats twice through. That's one repetition. Bass double. Next, back to the bass note as you hammer down. All right, there I allowed my middle finger to kind of paintbrush against the strings so I can get a little bit more of the meat of the chord. All right, then after that we're gonna play. That was D, G, A, G, D. So far you have. Then you're just gonna finish the measure with hammer. DG. All right, repeat that twice through. All right, now I can't tell you how many repetitions I needed before I was able to play this to speed. So just keep practicing it nice and slow, gradually increase the tempo as you become more comfortable. You put it together at full speed. has a very cool sound to it. Now that's not exactly what you hear on the original track. I had to clean that part up a little bit because it sounded largely uh, improvised and a little bit sloppy in that section. Okay, now let's play through that entire chorus section, both parts A and B. One, two, medium tempo. play that, then you're ready to move into the verse section. Okay, very good everybody. Now you're ready to jump into the final section you need to learn, the verse section. Because from here it's just going to be a bunch of repetition. So in this section he's playing the chord progression A minor to C, G major to A minor, and then G major again, before going back to A minor and the main riff. Okay, now that's going to repeat four times through. With the picking pattern, it looks and sounds like this. Your beauty is beyond compare. We're flaming locks of auburn hair. And ivory skin and eyes of emerald green. And that's going to repeat four times through. Okay, so very basic, super simple here. We're taking the A minor chord and playing A, D, double, D, G. 
Same thing on the C major chord. That's your first measure of the verse. All right, then the G major chord is gonna get the same thing, except you're switching that first bass note to the low E string. Notice how I don't bother to fret the entire chord. Back to A minor. I then repeat the G chord twice. Before going back to that main riff. You put all that together and we have. Now, if you listen to the isolated track, the original recording, you're gonna notice that a lot of the techniques that I have featured in my arrangement are kind of mixed up throughout the song. So every once in a while, instead of just playing that basic G chord, he does the little rolling trick. So you can feel free to kind of mix and match these techniques in whatever way you see fit. All right, everybody, that's it. Congrats, you're ready to perform. You can start experimenting with how you wanna mix these techniques together and getting everything up to speed. Big thanks to Josie Tolson for laying down some fantastic vocals. Remember everybody, you can follow her. I have the link for her YouTube channel down below. I wanna thank my patrons for making all these lessons possible. Thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking back, please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons saying happy picking.